Well, as news continues to come in from the Pacific, the uh, tragedy of Vanuatu uh, is, be is becoming evident. 24 people are now dead and they're still not sure about the uh, deaths on the outer islands, but also news that the very strong winds impacted uh, Kiribati and Tuvalu as well, and the Solomon Islands. It is very clear that global warming is intensifying the cyclones in the Pacific. When you have warmer oceans, uh, when you have high humidity, when you have no difference in the wind shear from uh, high altitudes to low, you get more extreme cyclones and that's what's happening. The global consensus is there for everyone except Tony Abbott. This government refuses to act on global warming. That's why they are trying to destroy the renewable energy target. It's why they tore down pricing pollution and it's why they're so dangerous for the country. We need strong action on climate now and if we are to help our Pacific neighbours, we have to step up on the climate as well as send food and water and medical equipment, as much aid as we can, totally necessary, absolutely essential right now. Everyone around the world is pointing out that Cyclone Pam is intensified by global warming, including the Prime Minister of Vanuatu. He has come out and said this is a climate-related event. There was a UN disaster conference on about climate change at the very time the cyclone hit. If you've got the Prime Minister of the country affected out there saying this is a climate change event, then it's about time the rest of the world uh, here, uh, especially in Australia, started to face up to it. This is always what happens when the fossil fuel lobby doesn't want you to talk about the consequences of what they're doing. When we have fires, extreme fires in Australia or extreme drought or extreme storms, they say, oh, let's not talk about it because of the impacts and that's insensitive. Well, that is what the tobacco industry did for years. It's what the fossil fuel industry is doing now and I'm not buying into it. The fact is we've run out of time. The news today that the, East, the uh, Totten Glacier in East Antarctica is now melting faster than people thought, that there are channels of warmer water going up underneath the glacier, melting it. If when that glacier collapses and melts, it's a three metre sea level rise. This is a global crisis. We have no more time.